Hello, my name is Adrian. Welcome to another video in the series about SQL Basics. In the previous video, we combined multiple return values from subqueries with the in operator. Today, we'll talk about two more similar operators, any and all. Let's get down to them. First, we'll get to know the tables that we'll use in our queries. They are very similar to each other. The first one is named Lecturer and contains the lecturers that teach at an imaginary university. The table has two columns, name and age. For instance, there is a lecturer called Anne Powers, who is 43 years old. The second table is named Student and contains the students that study at our university. Again, this table has two columns, name and age. The first student is called Sergio Evans and is 20 years old. As you can see, both tables are very similar. Now let's say we want to answer the following question. Is there any student that is older than all lecturers from our university? Let's find out how we can answer this question with a subquery that contains the all operator. We will start by writing the query in the following way. Select star from student where age. Okay, this part was quite easy. We want to retrieve all information about students whose age satisfies a condition we have yet to provide. Now we want to introduce the following condition. The student's age should be greater than the age of all lecturers. To that end, we'll use a combination of two operators, greater than and all. Our work clause should now contain the following condition, where age greater than all, followed by a pair of empty brackets and a semicolon at the end. Now, inside the brackets, we need to write the subquery, which will return all ages for all lecturers. Fortunately, that's quite simple. The final query looks like this. Select star from student, where age greater than all, and inside the brackets, select age from lecturer, finished with a semicolon. So, the query means select all information about students whose age is greater than the age of all lecturers. If we now run the query, we can see that it returns a single row. Indeed, there's one student, Abel Hampton, who is 57 and who is older than all of his lecturers. That's quite an age to do a degree course, by the way. Now we have a slightly different problem. We want to see students who are older than any of the lecturers. In other words, we previously wanted to see students that would be older than all of the lecturers, and now we want to see students, even if there is only a single lecturer, younger than them. The query we'll write will be very similar to the previous one. The only difference is that we need to change age greater than all to age greater than any. And that's it. Let's run the query. We now have two rows instead of one. Abel Hampton is there as before, but we can also see Lucille Nash, who is 37. She was shown in the result because there is a single lecturer, Francis Gray, who is 35, which means he is younger than Lucille. Greater than is not the only operator that we can combine with all and any. We can also use equals, not equal to, less than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. All right, that sums up our video about any and all. Stay tuned for another video about SQL subqueries. Leave a comment or a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and let's learn SQL together.